Hello guys. Hello everyone. Hi, hi Priyanka. Hi Rani. Hi Linda. And thank you so much guys for joining me. I'm just cleaning my lids though I have washed this properly but again I'm just cleaning it so there should be no dust in this oh thank you so much Rani hi Rita okay <clears throat> hi Priya Hello, hello guys. Hey Shraddha. Okay, I forgot to wash this one but that's okay. We might use this. Hi Monica. So, we'll just wait uh, for couple minutes and then we will uh, start so see this this lid is from a container of um, what do you call that mm, gel medium yeah so this lid of the container of gel medium so I forgot to clean this but that's okay it's coming out uh, any which ways we are not working here so we are going to work here so yeah hi anita hi pizza so uh meanwhile people are joining i'll show you the peak uh which we created sorry i'll just show you the ex uh uh, this is the project that we have created yesterday. So see this is nice and I have also cleaned the back. So I have um, removed the packaging tape and all. I have filmed a video so I will definitely add that uh, uh, maybe uh, today or tomorrow. So this is how it looks. Look how beautiful pattern we got in here this is really shiny piece i really love the way uh, you know this golden line uh, is looking here yes absolutely shraddha so see so now we can uh, this is completely uh, dry so now we can put one more layer on this okay so today i'm not going to do that because then i have very limited space here so I'll show, uh, I'll just film a video and then I'll show you. So this is how it looks. So now I'll just put a hook here. Okay. If you want, you can also cover the back using uh, some paint, chalk paint or something. But I really love the way it's looking. So I'm not going to put anything. And uh, so as promise, one of the, uh, one of the person will get this as a token of love from my side. So yeah. I hope you guys like this. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Pizza. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Monica. So, um, and I have, uh, if you remember, I also collected the spilled resin in some cup. Okay, so this is what I did. So I just took uh, MDF poster, and I have put that. Um, spill resin on this so see here also we got very amazing effect 
since uh, there is no pattern but uh, i just love the way it's looking what do i say i hope my camera is doing justice uh, what you are saying priya is that extra layer required uh, yes you can add extra layer on this if you don't want then you can just skip the process but only thing is if you add extra layer on it it will be you know uh, more um, uh, how to how to explain <laughs> it will it will look more shinier so this this is the extra spill resin that i use and uh, yesterday uh, you people i was talking about the um, also this is also i have done using spill resin so i just put that spill resin in my mold and this is what i got though the color is not uh, you know the color is really dirty but dirty but uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to use them in my mixed media so in which way i'm going to color that so this is what i have done using this spill resin okay and uh, as i was talking the huxons have two range of resin okay so this is the uh, the resin which we use for pouring so this is called high gloss and you can see the uh, embellishment is kind of a bendy okay so see uh, it won't break but only thing is it it's kind of a bendy so if you want uh, oh thank you so much radha <laughs> so if you want um if you want to use this around some uh, you know uh, this kind of a surface you can easily put it so like say on bottle you can easily put this kind of a resin embellishment so see this is how you can put it so i really love using uh, castings uh, i really i sorry i okay I, i'm sorry I really love this resin uh, for my casting to use something you know a cylindrical portion so so whenever I wanted to use uh, casting for cylindrical portion yes visa absolutely so that time I use this kind of a resin and also um, and this is the uh, another resin I was talking about So this is also from Huxon. So it uh, it's called Ultra Clear. Okay. So see, this is how hard and nice uh, embellishment we get using that resin. So just in case if you bought this kind of a resin pieces from me, you can hit this. Okay. What you are saying, Priyanka? Yes, absolutely. Even after twenty four hours, also it it's it will be bend, uh, bendy only. So I'll just show you. so i have a piece that i have created uh say uh one one month back or something so see this is still bendy you can see this is still bendy so yeah and this one i have created using uh, ultra gloss so this is nice and crisp so this is what i was talking about now see another one i have so see yes ashradha mermaid is my favorite too <laughs> so see this is also bendy so this is really uh, amazing to use uh, around some cylindrical portion as, as i was saying so just wrap it around on your bottle and it's done so yeah so whenever i wanted to add um, my casting around cylindrical portion so that time i use a uh, high gloss resin and when i uh, wanted to use them on my um, yes absolutely i have a big box of uh, see this is how the box looks so few months back i got a subscription of this bear anatomy so i just <laughs> use that box so in this i have some uh, bendy embellishment as well and this is this one is hard one so see there is lot of difference also you can uh, make this um 
Bendy, if you hit this embellishment, uh, do you want me to show you? Like, if you hit this embellishment, it will be bendy as well. Uh, Amina casting is uh, this, the mold casting. So this kind of a stuff is called casting. <laughs> yes, hi, hi, Sushma. Thank you so much, dear, for joining. So yeah. Now I'll just keep this aside. Do let me know if you want me to uh, use heat and show you how you can uh, make this casting bendy as well. Yes, absolutely, Fiza. It's it's absolutely uh, amazing resin. Okay. What you are saying, Soumya? Uh, yes, please show how to bend. Uh, yes, okay. I will show you how you can bend that casting. So, see, uh, all you have to do is, I will just keep this piece aside. Okay. All you have to do is, just turn your casting like this. And using heat gun, just heat it. So just uh, two or three minutes and your casting uh, yes Amina I will definitely tell you hi Shilpa you just have to hit this it takes a little time like say uh, three to four minutes so just distribute your heat yes so now see uh, it's bendy see can you see it's completely bendy so this is how you can use uh, resin so if you bought uh, this kind of embellishment from me then and you want them to use on to some cylindrical portion then just hit it little bit and it will be bendy so it just take uh, again uh, it will be bendy for 10 minutes only and then it will turn hard again okay so this is what it looks if you keep it something like that then uh, it will be like that once it ha once uh, it's hard okay so uh, yeah Oh, thank you so much Priya. Thanks Shilpa. See now it's getting, it started getting hard. So here. So it only takes uh, 10 minutes again to harden it. Okay, so you have to work really fast. So uh, what are you saying Mona? For mold which resin is used and for pouring which resin is used. Yes, I am coming back to that. Okay. So, for mold, it's always better to go with uh, this resin. This is the ultra clear. Okay. So, for mold, you have to use this resin. And uh, for pouring, you have to use this high gloss. So, so for high gloss, um, you need some surface. Otherwise, uh, this resin don't have its own strength. So, you need something uh, underneath uh, to strengthen it down. And this one, you don't need anything. You just put it in the um, mold and you're done. Okay. So, today I'm going to use uh, both the resin. And okay. So, uh, ratio also is vary. Okay. So, um, the ultra real needs uh, 3 to 1. So basically three parts of resin and one part of hardener and for high gloss you need uh, 2 is to 1. So ratio is 2 is to 1. So see there is a difference in ratio. So in this you need two parts of resin and one part of hardener. So always read the uh, instruction carefully while using resin. Okay so I always recommend you to read the instruction and act accord accordingly. Mona, uh, if you are using a mold, then go with ultra clear. So, this is the casting of ultra clear. 
again you can hit this and make it bendy i will just keep that aside and those uh, who have joined us now i'll just show you uh, this glimpse so this is what we created yesterday so just in case if you have missed then um, after this live is done then go back to my page even on instagram also i have this live so you can watch that out okay, this is the final piece Amina, it's a uh, heat gun. It's not a heat tool. It's a heat gun that I am using. So this is the heat gun that I am using. And I don't know the brand. I use this a lot. Okay, there is no brand mention. So I got, I got this from Amazon. If you want, uh, you can also check my yesterday's post. I have uh, given the link from where you can buy this. Okay. So now we have enough people and we can start working on these lids, right? So I have this jar lids. I have spray painted them. So see. I have spray painted each and every lid. Yeah. I forgot to spray paint this one. But uh, let's see if we need some. If we have a more resin left over, then we will create uh, something in this. Okay so three are big and three are small uh what you're saying yes black and bacon i guess that one is the name i have to check uh, there is no name mentioned here but it's been uh three three years i guess since i'm using this yes absolutely so this is what I have created using spill resin. I'm telling this for those who have joined uh, just now. So I'll just make some room here. And now what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to uh, add some uh, all the materials here. And then we will add um, resin. Okay. So. Since, and I always use this kind of uh, use and throw containers. Okay, so see I have these fine granules. So this kind of a granules we get in the market. These are absolutely amazing to use in your mixed media project. Okay. Thank you so much Anita. So I am going to use this. Okay. And I also have. Um, okay, so this is the uh, little birdie texture sand. So we can use this one as well. So see this is how the sand looks like. So this is really a kind of you know a salt granules. Granules. Uh, what is the price? Both raisin of 1 kg. Okay. So raisin of 1 kg. Uh, Maybe this is uh, of, uh, wait just a second, I do have box of this. So this is how the box looks. Okay, so there is no. <laughs> okay, so uh, as far as I remember, it's uh, high gloss comes for 1500 rupees, I guess. And this one is for 1700 rupees. The ultra clear one uh, is for 1700 rupees. Can't you make on rectangular MDF piece which you shown? Yes, absolutely we can make. But today uh, I'm thinking to uh, recycle this lid. So, so maybe uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow we will work on the rectangle. What do you guys say? Okay, so now I have these beautiful shells here. So these shells I collected when I went to uh, where I went uh, Andaman I guess yeah, so that time I have collected these uh, stones and I have also collected these uh, these kind of uh, granules see if you see closer it has a um, kind of shine into it so I collected that one as well so, um, 
so see this is what i have created uh, look at this here uh, you can see i have used uh, this uh, sand can you see i hope my camera is doing justice and again i have used some um, shales and everything so see uh, this casting uh, earlier i didn't knew about the resin so uh, this casting i made using high gloss and it's been uh, one month i guess but it's still bendy you can see it's still bendy but uh, i just love it so this is my first trial so that's why i have kept this in my uh, room okay so now uh, it's getting late i'll just uh, add stuffs here and for that i am using my mod podge oh thank you so much pizza it really means a lot okay so what i am going to do here okay so mm what i'm going to do i'm just taking out some mod podge okay so i'm going to use this lid i'm just taking out mod podge and then i'm going to stick this so one by one we will work okay so here uh, i'm going to add some mod podge you can also add a uh, sand directly and pour resin that way also it works but uh, i want uh, it should get you know stuck properly so yeah so i have added some mod podge here and now in this i am going to add this sand just tap out extra okay so we are going to create kind of a, you know ocean in this okay and now i am just taking small stones sorry small shells and taking little bit of a uh, mod podge and i am going to stick that uh pallavi what you are saying mod podge uh you can also use any kind of a glue but since this one was near me so that's the reason i use mod podge uh i just feel that mod podge is quite uh, handy to me oops just add few stone uh, few uh, 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 <laughs> sea shells okay yeah this this does happens with me while talking i just get stuck so one more in here and i'm not going to color these i want these uh, natural okay so here a uh, pallavi uh, black one is uh, this is the sand granules that i use see this is how the sand granules looks i hope you can see these are small granules that uh, just for texture nothing else so in each uh, lid i am going to show you different technique okay so as of now that's what i plan do share this live with your friends guys and do invite them see uh, i have this beautiful shell so these are all natural shells that i have collected and some of these are store bought so i have this one so i just love visiting to beach places and whenever i visit i always collect this let's go with this one so maybe enough of this right and now let's go to the another lid so here uh, i do have these stones see these stones i collected from my garden so 
so these stones i have so this what i'm going to do i'm just going to add this directly here just like that something like this okay just add this and now see uh, you, you, you can use anything don't limit yourself as i always say don't limit yourself and around this i'm going to add some more uh, granules so just adding some mod podge okay and around this i'm going to add these stones okay so see these kind of a stones i have in this so these all are collected so i'm going to add this here it does have little bit of shells as well but that's okay just like that okay and just because i want this uh in the middle only okay kind of you know a small uh, island <laughs> we can say see we can uh, do anything we are artists so yeah we can imagine anything okay so this is done <laughs> absolutely and now in this uh what shall we use okay so in this uh, i'm going to use real sand that also i have with me so this sand i got from a um, little birdie okay so i'm going to use that okay so this will be a bit messy that's okay okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just making some room in here okay and okay so now again uh, i'm adding some mod podge here so i'm just showing you like what you can use right so uh, that way you will get an idea like what you can use exactly and now uh, just taking sand in here okay and i'm going to sprinkle that sand here just spread a little bit i'm telling you this will be amazing because uh, if you are a beach lover then this is this is really amazing <laughs> okay so little bit here and here you see and now i'm going to add some uh, other shells that i have here i just need small small shells okay oh uh, thank you so much and i am going to fix this uh, shell here like this something like this and we can use some bigger shell as well see like this and uh, okay so i'm just uh, checking which thing we can add so now uh, uh, some shells i'm not going to um, glue them because resin will do that job okay and maybe here 
yeah so i think this looks nice what do you guys say oh uh, thank you so much guys thank you so much okay and see i have this big shell so in one in one lid i'm going to add that so now i'll just keep this aside and let's go back to our smaller ones so in this um uh, what kind okay so i have this another sand with me not sand these are stones so, so these stones i collected from the kids play area so yeah so i'm going to add that i'm really crazy guys when it comes to you know art so i collect stuff like uh, oops it has hair so this is done i wish i had a small uh, star fish but i don't have that but that's okay in this i have some shells so see how cute shell this is ah absolutely you can say a uh, priya uh, i have kind of kazana with me and some uh, some of this uh, uh, some of the shell will be coming uh, you know through the resin but that's okay this one is one is enough and now in this also i'm going to add little bit of sand so that way so just sprinkle little amount of sand in here okay so yeah and in this uh, what do i say can we add this one only one this okay it might look nice hi shruti so can we add only this single uh, this one or okay so yesterday we have used these stones right if you remember so i'm just going to add that i found that so all around i'm going to add and in this i'm just going to put some stones and in this i am going to add some clear resin so this won't be ocean theme so i am just going to cover a entire lid okay and one should be focal here so for that we can add this so this will be kind of a 3d you know amazing looking shell i hey, sorry fridge magnet we can convert this into the fridge magnet see something like that see how beautiful it's looking and we have one more lid and now in that uh, what should we add what do you guys say shall we add this stone no nope. i have this one as well So this kind of a stones as uh, this kind of a shells also i have can we add this this one will this look nice so one will be transparent okay and the rest will be kind of a ocean theme will that look nice guys what do you guys say shall we add this one Okay, so I'm just waiting for your answers. So now I'll just make some room here because it's getting messy. No answers yet. Okay, let's keep that back. And again, I'm going to add. some sand here so that's what we can do right so in this i'm going to add this uh, texture sand okay 
you can also use any kind of rangoli as well so this will be kind of you know white beach sand sorry white white sand beach can do that right so i have added this and we can add now this fan shell here like this okay here like this i'm just keeping it like that i'm not going to add any glue here okay so our composition is done and now it's time to pour the resin so i'll just keep this stuff aside and then we will add a add some okay so oh so now we have enough room in here okay and now i'm going to add resin okay i'm going to mix resin so before that just make sure to use gloves because this is really important thing to do okay and now here oops And now I'm going to mix a uh, resin, okay? And I'm just making some room here. And I'm using weighing machine to mix the resin. I mean to take the proportion. It's always uh, better to use weighing machine. That way uh, you will have exact amount of you know resin and hardener. So. And this uh, is it visible okay so container also have some weight so what I'm going to do I'm just using this tear option so this tear option is really amazing okay what happened oops battery is low just a second guys it's working now i'm just going to add, uh, use this tear option and uh, since on this uh, resin bottle it says two is to one okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add 50 uh, gram of this oops that's okay so it's 54 so half of the 54 is how much tell me guys <laughs> half of the 54 is how much 27 right yes 27 and i'm going to add guess shilpa i got this uh, weighing machine uh, from the amazon how much was it 27 okay so i'm going to take 27 gram of so one point here and there it's perfectly fine okay 
and now let's uh, mix this So since uh, the surface which we are working it's uh, small so that's the reason I have took a little amount of resin and now see a uh, resin is hard than uh, sorry resin is uh, kind of heavy than a hardener so you have to scrape the edges otherwise resin will get settled down and it won't get mixed with hardener okay so you have to uh, mix it uh, together nicely And while mixing you will see that uh, the mixture is kind of uh, heavy but uh, once you mix it properly it will be kind of transparent and thin as well. So scrape the bottom of the container also scrape the sides and give it a good mix and also I forgot we can add uh, pressed flowers as well uh, I do have that uh, pressed flowers you can all add that uh, as well to create you know some resin magnet or coaster or something do you want me to add uh, that as well so i'll just show you that too so first we will finish this uh, ocean once and then if we have time then i will show you how you can use raised dried flowers in resin see it's mixed nicely I'm just giving giving it a good mix because if uh, it doesn't get mixed nicely then uh, your resin won't cure and you will have you know kind of a sticky uh, resin base so that's the reason you have to mix it properly uh, so I mean, no I don't sell but I have uh, bought them from Amazon so it was a pack of four so if i have here i'll show you so see this kind of a packs we get uh yes sunita we can use plastic flowers as well okay so it's mix nicely and you can see it's uh, completely transparent so when we pour resin and hardener that time the mixture was cloudy right and now it's mixed then it's looking completely transparent and now what i'm going to do i'm just taking out resin into the different containers so which colors we need a uh, blue and then white and then we need dark blue we need dark blue white okay okay and for uh, resin pigments i'm going to use huxon's uh, pigments only so these are the pigments so first just take out the resin so here and I will be adding a uh, little bit of transparent resin too. So just save that resin too. Oops. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. And now what if we use fresh flowers in resin? What is the difference between ultra resin and normal resin? But now I just uh, uh, explain. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I just missed some conversation here. It's okay. 
comments are not coming can you just uh, comment something uh, so i can see like whether comments are coming or not and now using a popsicle stick okay i'm just taking little amount of white paint not paint uh, white uh, pigment it's from um, huxans only okay so just mix that okay i don't know why my comments are not visible guys can you comment something so uh, i'm able to see okay yes okay so what you are saying sunita uh, what if we use fresh flowers in if you use fresh flowers then uh, the heat of the resin will uh, absolutely ruin it so i have tried that yeah okay yeah now it's visible yeah thank you so much guys okay so now see i have added a uh, white pigment you can also use acrylics uh, because i have tried acrylics in resin and they works absolutely fine as well only thing is ac acrylics are not that pigmented to uh, you know uh, for resin but uh, if you put little bit of more acrylic then that uh, that also helps yes urvashi you can use Okay, so where is my? So okay, I'll just keep this here. And now uh, I have this uh, navy blue, and I also need some teal shade. So it's ocean, and we have to use teal, right? And teal is my favorite too. Just take little amount of teal shade here. and mix it ah uh, that's okay padma you can watch this live once it's uh, finish off so yeah so my pigments are getting thicker so it's okay thank you so much pizza you are such a darling okay so now see our this one is done okay so i'll just take out the extra pigment that i have on the stick and now let's add some blue so this is the dark blue i'm just taking little see uh, resin pigments uh, we need very little amount of uh, very little quantity okay so that's the reason i love using resin pigment if you use acrylic or something uh, you might need little more uh, quantity to you know get your resin darker but while in um, yes absolutely sushma i love uh, going to beach places it's been 2 years since i went somewhere so yeah earlier we thought to go uh, to goa oops and this but since because of the covid uh, we don't want to take any kind of a risk so yeah now i'll just add this now just take this here Okay, so first I'm going to pour resin into this uh, big jar, jar lids. Oh, we can do uh, simultaneously, right? So, is it visible to you guys? Yeah. And now, uh, first, what I will do? First, I will add uh, some clear resin. Okay, so whatever we have added here will get uh, stuck. same way I'm going to add 
resin into all the jar lids so this is the uh, perfect idea to you know um, recycle your jar lids and you will be having nice um, beach theme or magnet for your home or you can give this to someone you love so here i'm going to add so in this uh, i will be mixing uh, another resin i mean another uh, batch of the resin or i don't think it will cover it Okay, so now that's done and now I'm coming to my dark shade first. So first I'm going to add a dark shade. Okay. Just uh, slightly. Little bit of the dark shade. It will get mixed but don't worry about that. And here I will be needing Okay and now I will add uh, this tail shade. So see there is again uh, no rocket science so don't worry if something uh, you know goes wrong just uh, trust the process and I'm telling you uh, resin pour is definitely uh, a stress buster but if you take stress then there is no point of doing resin bus uh, resin pour you know <laughs> and now I'm going uh, going to pour this um, white shade little bit here so here in this my clear resin is a bit too much that's okay I'll just cover it add more of the dark shade and pour in some lighter shade and now little bit of the white i hope am i audible to you right because i am uh, and now what I will do, I will just move my resin using this heat gun. So that way it will get mixed. now see it's just looking nice wavy kind of a pattern so where we need okay we need little amount of blue here okay and little amount of white so what i'm going to do i'm just taking white on my popsicle stick and just going to pour it here so that way uh, it will create kind of a wavy look sorry wave effect Put it here Uh, 
yes absolutely pizza i'm going to uh, pour that so uh, i just wanted to uh, show you uh, i can't leave this but see how beautiful uh, lacy effect we got in here see can you see i hope you can see so here it's uh, we got very nice lace effect in this i'm going to add some more resin okay and then just add some more of the till oops oops that's okay that's okay just add some clear resin here because i don't want uh, any pigment on this and now again add some white I just love the way it's looking here. You can also add some grass uh, into these to uh, give more, you know, natural effect. Uh, I I'm I don't know if I have grass. I do have some grass with me. See how beautiful it's looking, isn't it? Just move this little bit here. I just love this one is my favorite, seriously. So what do you guys say? Which one is your favorite? And once uh, this coat is dry, then I will add a... Um, more of you know cluster uh, cluster uh, sorry what I I'm extremely sorry sometimes I do feel lost <laughs> and then it here okay this really looks nice and I'm just going to move my resin little bit so that way we will get some natural effect okay I just love this one I don't want to do anything on this so here it's looking very uh, plain so I'm just going to um, make some pattern here see uh, thank you so much Pallavi and now I have some surprise giveaway for you guys okay so just be with me I just got that in my mind and now for this uh, see uh, the resin is here so what i'm going to do i'll just pour this resin on something uh, just a second i'm finding something to pour this resin on so can we uh, pour this resin into this let's pour this i have this another jar lid but it's a plastic one but it will work Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much lavender pots. So what do you guys say? Can we add a uh, leftover resin into this? Or I'm just looking for something that. I wish I had some more uh, glass, uh, glass lids. I also wanted to make some more of the resin here okay before this so for this I'm going to use some clister clear oh thank you so much yes Sunita please make and do share with me I would definitely love to you know see your mix 
or can we add uh, this mixture into this will it look nice will it look nice guys okay so plastic is now okay so i'll just let it be like that and meanwhile what i will do i'll add more resin for this i'll mix more resin for this and once the uh, this layer is done then i will be adding some more uh, resin into it just to you know cover it so layer of uh, clear resin so here i am taking another container and in this so i guess uh, 20 ml will be fine 20 or 10 So I'm just taking small container, another small container here and in this I'm going to add 10 grams of this resin. okay so we are almost done and now 5 gram of hardener oh, it's not working okay so that's done and now I'm going to mix this first and then I'm going to pour it in this. So just give it a good mix. So see uh, it's cloudy now. So once you uh, mix it properly, it will be transparent. So you have to mix it properly. Oh, that's great. That's great, Monica. see this is done almost you can add some, resin and some white, uh, waves maybe that that will look nice yes absolutely Rachna and you will be having your own uh, ocean theme magnets Okay, so now about the giveaway. Uh, I just wanted to give uh, two of the um, magnets to one of you. Okay. So, just a second, I'll mix this and then I'll get back to the giveaway. So that's done and now I will just pour this because the um, mm -hmm. okay. see I almost pour complete of this. Because I really love the look of these stones. So that's the reason I pour a clear resin into this. So that's done. Can we add some more white into this? Uh, Amina, uh, I use um, ultra clear resin for that. So let's add little bit of white just around this okay Oops. just to create some you know a um, river kind of a thing let's see Just little bit more. It's 
looking awesome it's really looking awesome okay so now uh, back to my giveaway so i just want to give two leads uh, two fridge magnet to one of you guys so whoever's name come first on my screen uh, he or she will be getting uh, one uh, lead from my side and so uh, basically i need two winners uh, two person so to whom i will be giving this um, magnet so whoever's whoever's uh, name come first on my screen he or she will be getting this as a token of love okay we got uh, we got anita and manisha okay so here we got anita and manisha and on instagram i didn't get anything so just message me uh, your address and i will be giving this uh, fridge magnet to you guys okay so i'm just taking out my gloves because it's getting very sweaty so now i'll just pour the leftover resin into my molds and uh, yeah thank you so much guys for joining in so tomorrow i will be adding one more layer of the clear resin onto this and my fridge magnet will be done so uh, if you enjoy this process and if you create something like this then don't, don't forget to tag me on your social media or just you know uh, <laughs> okay so i will be back with another tutorial till then bye bye take care and happy creating